Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading or if the game is stuck on loading, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the very first step is to make sure all servers are up and running. So you can go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link and you can check the server status of EA games. You can check the list. If there is any outage, you will come to know and that may be the problem. Now the next step is to restart Steam or EA app and then check. So if you have the game on EA app, just exit e app and then open e app once again and then check if you have the game on steam then you can exit steam and then open steam once again and then check if that does not work restart your computer and then check next step is to run e app or steam as an administrator so if you have the game on e app so first of all close e app exit and then you can type in e app in window search box make a right click on e app and then click on run as administrator and then check similarly you can close steam and once the steam is closed now you can type in steam and then make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game and then check next step is to enable secure boot on your computer now shut down your computer start your computer and immediately you can keep on tapping the bios key it may be f2 f10 f11 the bios key may differ for different brand so go to system bios and then enable the secure boot now to enable the secure boot either you can contact system manufacturer webs uh, you can call system manufacturer you can call their technical support because if you do it wrong this may cause the no boot issue so you have to be very careful when you enable the system bios so you can go to this microsoft website here you can see windows 11 and secure boot and there are different steps for dell lenovo hp so you can follow the steps from their website for dell there is a instruction how to enable the secure boot similarly for Lenovo HP so you can enable the secure boot on your computer in system BIOS and then check now the next step is to reset factory keys in BIOS which has worked for many players so it might work for you so you can look up for reset factory keys as per your motherboard name or model and then you can reset factory keys again contact system manufacturer before making changes as this may lead to no boot issue so you have to be very careful when you reset the factory keys in bios now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have like a vast not on bit bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case open windows setting go to privacy and security now click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security and then go to virus and threat protection scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive if the game is installed in steam like you can go to program files x86 and then open the steam folder steam apps and then common folder you you will find the game folder over here now if you have the game on ea app then open program files and then open ea games and then open madden nfl 25 select this exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps select this exe file open again add an allowed app browse all apps select this e anti-cheat and then open once it is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then open control pattern system system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder so again program files ea games open the game folder select all these exe files so select madden 25 click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and select this exe file e anti cheat one and then click on add once it is added in my case it is already added again click on allow another app and then click on browse and this time select this trial one and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can make a uh, go to ea app and then click on the game then click on manage and then go to properties 
and then click on browse in steam i don't have the game on steam but you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder so click on browse over here and once you have the installation folder here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check again make a right click select properties and if that does not work you can try to run in windows 8 now over here apply ok and then launch the game if that does not work you can select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game so when you put a check on all these boxes still it's not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to use e anti cheat game service launcher to launch the game so for this again you can click on browse over here and then this time you can use this e anti cheat game service launcher you can make a double click or you can simply make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and this will launch e anti cheat screen and then it will launch the game so you can try this i am closing the game for now now the next step is to repair e anti cheat now for this again go to the game installation folder so click on browse and then it will take you to the game installation folder and then open installer folder e anti cheat and then make a right click on e anti cheat installer and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you will see the repair option click on repair and then click on ok over here select the folder where the game is installed and then go to the game installation folder and then you have to open the EA games or open the common folder in steam and then select the game folder and then let it complete this will may take a couple of seconds now here you can see install success now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to repair or verify the game files now for this you can go to e app click on manage and then click on repair now once the repair is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game if you have the game on steam i don't have the game on steam this is just an example make a right click on the game select properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete you can launch the game and then check Next is to delete cache, file system cache, and user settings in documents folder. So open File Explorer in computer and then go to Documents. Now, once you go to Documents, open Madden NFL 25, and over here you will see cache, file system cache, and then user settings. You can delete these, but if you want to create a backup, you can create a backup first and then you can delete it. But when you delete it, you will lose all the saved settings and then once it is deleted now you can launch the game and then check you can even rename or delete the save game files but when you delete the save game file you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree only then you can rename or delete the save game files now for this again you have to open the file explorer and when go to documents you can make a right click on the madden nfl 25 and re you can rename it maybe madden nfl 25.old and then launch the game but you have to start the game from scratch or you can even delete Madden NFL uh, save game files and once you delete it you will lose all the game progress so you can try this now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have Nvidia card go to Nvidia website if you have AMD card go to AMD website I'm showing for Nvidia so go to Nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's GE Force experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check 
Now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card. You can run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, go to graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance over here. Now click on save, now launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to latest version. Now this is important. So go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to install any free game like you can install apex legend run the game for maybe few seconds maybe few minutes close it and then run nfl 25 and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow also download x64 run download both x86 and x64 again run this exe file click on repair if you see the repair option if you see install option click on install in my case it is already installed so please ignore this and then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have these devices connected, which you're not using, if you have any kind of dongle adapter connected, disconnected, and then launch the game. Also, if you have additional, sometimes we have extra controller connected, so disconnect it and then launch the game. Disable overlay. Now for Steam, uh, you can just make a right click on the game and then select properties and you can turn off the option which says enable steam overlay while in game and then check for e-app users you can go to settings and then go to application and if you have this in-game overlay on you can turn this off turn off whenever you want to turn it on you can always turn it on and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to also if you have any kind of over, other overlay application like if you have discord running you can turn off overlay in discord turn off overlay in geforce experience or you can simply close all the overlay application if you can and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running reva tuner running or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game and then check perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then go to system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in in my in my case the option is grayed out i already did it in your case this should be highlighted so make make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to Remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to launch the game in window mode. So try launching the game in window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if the graphics settings set to high, you can set it to medium and then you can check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can simply uninstall the game. Now, after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, in that case, install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.